Welcome back everyone. It is a cool, crisp start to our work week and it's going to stay that way, if not even get a little bit colder. Jesse was mentioning the fact, you know, could we see some fog out there? Here's the reason we're not. 45 degrees is where we're at right now. That dew point's at 30. In order to see fog, that means there's moisture in the air. So that dew point becomes closer to that temperature. It's just too far away. This is called the dew point depression, the difference there. But it is very, very dry out there. Temperatures are cool, though. 39 in Clinton, 45 at Lake of the Ozarks and Camdenton. 43 in Springfield, just a little warmer into northern Arkansas. But all in all, a much different start from where we were over the weekend. On our satellite and radar, Cold front moved through. It would have been nice had that cold front been considerate and brought a little rain to our area, but it didn't. And we are going to stay very dry through the week. With such dry conditions, it is not a good time to burn. Keep that in mind. Things could get out of hand really quick. For today, we're going to see highs in the mid 60s, closer to 70 degrees further to the south, but this is much more fall like where we closer to where we should be than the 90 degree temperatures we had over the weekend for tonight. We'll drop down to about 40 41 degrees across the area, so we're still not in frost territory, but not for long. That jet stream is going to continue to push further and further south. Our eastern part of the country is going to feel very fall like conditions over the next couple of days. It'll be the biggest blast of fall like air yet. And we're going to kind of flip the switch as we head into next week, where I think we'll start to see more and more chances for rain. Okay, first frost. On average, we reach our first frost on October 14th, which is actually today. We're not going to reach it today, but soon, I think. For Joplin, October 17th, West Plains at about the 10th, the 13th, and Rolla. And then Harrison usually sees it about the 21st. Our first freeze, which a killing freeze, happens a couple weeks later or a week later in most cases. So today would be our average first frost. I think our chance of seeing the first frost will be on Wednesday morning when temperatures drop to about 32 degrees. I think on Thursday, those low line areas will likely see a frost there as well. And then as we head into the weekend, temperatures will start to even out a little bit more and we'll get back to where we should be for this time of the year. Overnight low average is about 48 degrees. Average high is about 71. Now we're going to see breezy and cool conditions on Tuesday. Frost early for your Wednesday. We'll stay at 63 degrees on Wednesday. We'll stay at 68 degrees on Thursday. And this is going to be very bright and sunny all week long. Over the weekend, temperatures will start to warm up. There's a chance we could see a little bit of cloud coverage moving in this weekend. And there is a slight chance a slight chance that we can see rain over the weekend, but it does look like the rain chances will increase this time next week, which is good news. We need it. Yeah, so we really need that rain here, but I do like that sun, but again, could use that precipitation.